Hello everybody, this is Andrew from CSS Bananas and today I'm going to show you how to use the rotate property on the WebKit transform element that we have on CSS. I was actually watching a movie the other day and I saw this little gadget that used to um, it actually moved around and had these little lights on it and I thought it was really cool and I wondered if I could do that on CSS and it turns out I can and you guys can do as well. So I'm going to show you because it's pretty easy. First of all, we're going to be working with a div um, that's going to have an ID. That ID, I'm going to name it circle because we're actually going to be American circle. You can actually name it anything you want. In this case, after the, we have the div ready, we're going to go ahead and call the circle as in the CSS. And we're going to give it a width, first of all, of uh, 200 pixels, a height as well for 200 pixels. Now, the border that I want to use is actually going to be four pixel dashed dashed there we go uh blue you're gonna see what dash means in a second and now since i want a circle i have to use the border dash radius and that's gonna be a hundred pixels there we go and after that i'm just gonna put on the webkit dash transition uh and then it's gonna be working with two second is dash in dash out perfect in this case uh, once we save this and uh, look at the browser right here we're actually going to be seeing a 200 pixel diameter circle that has a dashed a radius i'm sorry yes a border in this case uh, i'm actually going to be working with the famous hover property so first of all circle where's you are right there circle uh, dash i'm sorry hover there we go and on this, um, I'm actually going to be working with WebKit as well. But remember, the WebKit is only uh, good for Safari and Chrome, I believe. In any case, I'm going to be putting on the description box the correct code for Mozilla, Opera, and Internet Explorer, if you can ever make that work. But here, what I need is dash WebKit dash transform and then colon. And the property is called rotate. And inside the parentheses, we're going to be working with 360 degrees, D-E-G. Remember that to use degrees instead of pixels, otherwise it will not work. Now, once we save this and come here and refresh the page, check out what happens. Nice, right? Uh, it goes like a, like a ball around. It actually is pretty cool. I believe I'm going to put that on my website pretty soon as well. And uh, just to give you a practical example, I'm going to be actually, let's say they have um, this web page in which you have a link um, and this link let's say it goes to bananas of course in this case I'm actually going to be working with the circle selector and all paragraphs inside it I'm going to be um, I'm actually going to align it so text align is going to be center and in font size I'm going to make it um, 40 pixels and the color let's just make it blue as well now once we save this check out we do have the word right there so for example you're uh, going around the website and you want people to click on this link so you come here it turns around but you still have the bananas readable right there so since it's just 360 degree it would actually be the whole term right there you can actually just make a half or just 40 degrees and degrees anything you want but in any case there you have it it's actually a very useful um, technique that you can use right here and um, don't forget to check out my page if you want to subscribe go ahead and uh, well see you next time